latest AI development that has been taking over the internet by storm. So today, uh, we're open sourcing the first set of our Llama 3 models at 8 billion and 70 billion parameters. They have best-in-class performance for their scale. We're also still training a larger dense model with more than 400 billion parameters. And to give you a sense of Llama 3's performance, this first release of the 8 billion is already nearly as powerful as the largest Llama 2 model that we released. And this version of the 70 billion model is already around 82 MMLU uh, with leading reasoning and math benchmarks. The 400 billion parameter model um, is, is currently around 85 MMLU, um, but it's still training. Um, so we expect it to be industry leading on a number of benchmarks. ChatGPT was a thing back in the past, but other AI models are taking over. This is special because this is open source from Meta, Llama 3. We are going to have a look into why it is so special and as a developer, why I think it is actually phenomenal. This brings in a lot of new possibilities. What makes Llama 3 so special? If you want to check out Llama, go to Llama dot meta dot com discover the possibilities with meta llama open source featuring ai models tools and resources enabling developers to shape the next wave of innovation this is great because it actually beat almost all of the state-of-the-art models out there including gpt4 cloud's latest release sonus cloud sonnet which has been in the news lately because of its capabilities against chat gpt gpt4 and this thing, 70 billion parameters, Llama 3 model actually beat that. And that is a quite a feat for an open source model. If you want to check out Llama 3, come to llama.meta.com. Click on Meta Llama 3 and that's where you will get to this landing page. We have integrated Llama 3 into Meta AI, which is a, an inference front end. It's like ChatGPT interface on the web. You can easily access the Llama 3's capabilities there. This is actually very good news for developers because we are not constrained with the pricing structure of any one provider like Cloud or OpenAI because we can actually install these models onto a VPS. Whether you are developing agents or other AI powered applications, Llama 3 in both 8 billion and 70 billion will offer the capabilities and flexibility you need to develop your ideas. Enhance performance. It actually is really fast. Experience the state of the art performance of Llama 3, an openly accessible model that excels at language nuances contextual understanding and complex tasks like translation and dialogue generation. With enhanced scalability and performance, Llama 3 can handle multi-step tasks effortlessly. Additionally, it drastically elevates capabilities like reasoning, code generation and instruction. Build the future of AI with Llama 3. This is why it is so exciting. We are not constrained anymore so much. There is one thing though that I am not very happy about. I mean, but it's still an improvement, which is the context window. It still only allows 8K context window. Quite an improvement from Llama 2, which is double the context window length of Llama 2. That's the only hiccup that I have if I have some large document to feed into the model and then I will have to chunk it and then feed into the model. But let's have a look at some benchmarks. Llama 3 models take data and scale to new heights. On our two recently announced custom built 24K GPU clusters, on our 15 trillion token of data, that is a lot. Training data set 7x7 times larger than that was used for llama 2 including 4x more code this results in the most capable llama model yet which supports 8k context length that doubles the capacity of llama 2 you can also find more information about the model by clicking here and going to the github repository model details a new mix of publicly available online data 8 billion and 70 billion parameter models two models are available token count 15 trillion plus context length 8k the 8 billion parameter model the knowledge cutoff is at March 2023, but the latest 70 billion parameter model that cuts off at December 2023, four months ago. Not bad, but if you hook it up to some sort of agent mechanism to search Google, etc., that will easily fill in that gap of three months there. Mental Llama 3 instruct model performance. Here's the 8 billion parameter model performance, and here's the 70 billion. So, Gemma and Mistral, these are all other open source models. These are all the open source models that developers turn to commonly. 8 billion parameter model almost beats all of them. The other two models here, a significant percentage difference actually. 58, 21, 34, 30 to 62. And the 70 billion parameter model, when it is compared with Gemini Pro, which is again said to be the latest 
high performing model from Google. Don't ask me what the details of what these are actually are. I just use these models for AI development to build apps on top of it. So I don't understand most of this. I use their API to develop it, but I will have to get into the nitty gritty details now because I am turning to Llama 3 for my new SaaS AI app, which I'll be releasing very soon on product 10. Stay tuned for that and more instructional videos coming on how to do it. I'm building in public, so that'll be available on YouTube here. And the only place where Gemini Pro 1.5 comes on top is 41 GPQA and and with a score of 58.5, it beats Metalama's 70 billion parameter model in math. But Cloud3 Sonnet that underperforms when compared to Meta's Llama 3 70 billion parameter model. So those are some benchmarks for you here. There is something called as Meta Llama God as well. And it includes stuff like CyberSec Evolve 2, Code Shield, and coverage to a more comprehensive set of safety cate categories in line with the principles outlined in our rug, which is responsible user guide your resource for building responsibly and that's what it is a pdf my understanding of it is that when llms generate code and other stuff to be executed there is a guard on top of the code or any other text for that matter is not harmful so it is a bit censored in that regard but you don't have to install it when you go to the download page and when you download the weights it will ask you whether you want betas llama the llama guard installed but you don't have to. The advantage is that as AI developers, because oftentimes your customers or users of your AI products will try to jailbreak your products. With ChatGPT and GPT-4, we have seen this by engineering the prompts in a certain way, you can actually bypass its safety protocols. So this guard protects you from misusing your AI apps. But if you don't care for that, you don't have to use it. But I think I will use it, go ahead and use it when I, at least to start with, if I don't want any, you know, I want the protection to built in any kind of like cyber attack or anything like that. As I learn more, I will report it here. So that's Llama God. Let's see if I have missed something here. We have covered. Also, I just want to mention here that it is licensed for both research and commercial use. You can do whatever you want, at least for now. It is the real meaning of open, I guess. When what OpenAI was supposed to be recently, the companies like X and Meta has been getting into this game of like making it open source, the AI models. It takes away from the monopoly of companies like OpenAI or Cloud for that matter. That's the brief introduction for you. And in the next video and the coming videos, I'll be actually developing RAG agents with, which is a thing now. Um, a lot more applications are being built on RAG. I'll be covering that here on YouTube. So stay tuned for those videos. Before I go though, I'll quickly show you how to use the inference front end here. There's not a lot of things to cover here. It's just this front end here. If you go to try meta AI or go to meta.ai, type that in your address bar, you will be taken here. You can log in with your Facebook or but you don't have to. You can just use it. But you will have to confirm your age to talk to it. And you need to be logged in for image generation. So you have some sample prompts here, just like ChatGPT's interface here. And then you can click on one of these prompts to get started. You don't have to, these are presets. And that's what happens there. Show you how fast it is. It's actually not so bad. I'll just say, write an article on it cites the sources as well, So which is very good for image generation, a poodle playing the violin. I'm just going to click on that. And it's actually very fast, the image generation. And then there is a, not bad, I wouldn't say it's the best. I think it does humans a bit better. A woman, real. Well, it's not quite there, it's getting there, but it's not as realistic as I, because it has still, the eyes are crooked. But let me just show you quickly what I did with a very sophisticated prompt that I copied from the internet on my X generated with Meta's AI. Look at that. It's actually pretty cool. Just click animate here to animate the photos. And that's something that you can do as well. Not bad at all. Look at that. I like it. She's turning her face and everything. Anyway, that's a quick and probably the only two features available here now. It has a history and everything. That's pretty much it. That is my quick intro to how to easily access Meta's, Meta's Llama 3 using Meta AI web frontend. And with that being said, I'll see you in the next one and I'll we will dig into developing apps on top of Meta's
Lama 3.